This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by the National Field Archery Association Foundation, dedicated to the sport of archery. Beginning next week, Yankton, South Dakota is host to not one, but three prestigious events on the World Archery Calendar. Along with the World Archery Congress, this is the first time South Dakota has hosted the World Championships. The World Cup Final has never been hosted in the United States. And this is the first and only time these two events will take place in the same location back to back. Even if you don't know much about archery, other than that it involves a bow and arrows, our next guests are about to change your mind. Bruce Call is the president of the National Field Archery Association Foundation, and Larry Ness is the chairman of the board and CEO of First Dakota National Bank. They're here to tell us why you'll want to be in Yankton to watch international competitors go head-to-head -head and to attend Archery Fest, a family fun event designed to celebrate the sport with entertainment, cultural experiences, and much more. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Yes, glad to have you. Okay, Bruce, I just mentioned a whole lot. There's a lot <laughs> going on. But the first time both events taking place in the same place, I mean, first time, the, there's a lot going on, but how did this happen? Well, you know, the pandemic has one good side, I guess, and it was to enable the stars to align for archery. Um, the Olympics being moved last year and postponed until this year basically caused everything. And uh, yeah, the, the big news is that these events have never been held together. And it's the first time, not just in South Dakota, but in the U.S. So we're very excited. It's uh, it's going to be everything archery for a couple of weeks, and um, we're just getting ready for it. So, do you think there'll be benefits for having them held together? In oh the yeah, same absolutely. Place? In fact, uh, we've noticed a few things happen like this in other sports. When they've happened, people go, "Oh, this is kind of nice. We only have to travel one time." Right. But you know, these are major, major events. Every sport has a you know a world cup and, and a world congress and a world championship it's just that normally it would be the year following the olympics so okay. having it in the same year is kind of neat i mean the the good part is all these people have traveled already you know the majority of them uh, you know are like vaccinated and stuff they've been to tokyo um and the really cool part is anybody that watched the olympics in tokyo everybody that won a medal there is invited to this and this is their kind of their actual specific Olympic Games for archery. So a big, big week coming. Yeah, how amazing. So let's talk about the World Archery Championship welcome. I mean, what does this mean for our community? You know, it, it's huge on a lot of aspects. Um, probably one of the biggest ones that we see, um, you know, is just the economic development and probably the cultural diversity. You know, archery is a very wholesome sport. It's one of the first Olympic sports. Um, you know, people like to watch it. It's it's something kind of unique. And, you know, getting the people here uh, just helps everybody. I mean, 10 years ago, when we talked about archery and sports tourism, people were like, oh, yeah. And, you know, it's just something that's really grown. And, I mean, we're bringing 1,000 people in for the better part of, you know, 15 days. And that's a lot of meals, a lot of motel rooms, and a lot of busing and a lot of money being spent. So mm -hmm. it's a really big deal, and, and we enjoy that part of it, too. And Larry, as a sponsor, why did you decide to get involved and why are you happy to be a part of this? Well, in case you haven't figured it out, Bruce is a force of nature. And when he says he's going to do something, I learned a long time ago, it's going to happen, even as impossible as it might seem. So uh, we see what it does for our community and really the whole tri-state area. Uh, people completely fill our restaurants and our hotels, motels, and the neighboring towns as well as Yankton. They spend a lot of money. They travel around our state. Our state becomes known worldwide. Try that on for size advertising. This is the best we can do. Yeah. Big thing. And uh, it's been a, it has been and will be in the future a big deal for uh, Central United States. Yeah, definitely. I can definitely see that. Let's talk about by the numbers, Bruce. Explain a little bit more about this to me. Yeah, so as of right now, with the three events, we have approximately, I think it's 83 countries are represented, which wow. is really incredible. Um, you know, we've got, um, I think, right around 1,000 actually registered, and we'll have probably another 1,000 that will just come as, you know, support staff and, and those people. It runs the entire second half of October, so, you know, it's about 15 days. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a big, big deal for everybody. I mean, having it in South Dakota is one thing, having it in Yankton is another, and just having it in the United States really tops it all off. So 
we're, uh, we're excited, we're ready for it, and uh, we've got a great team, everything's in place, and we're ready to go. Let's go through the details now for these different events, but first let's start off by talking about World Archery Congress. Okay, the Congress is basically, um, every sport has a Congress that makes up all their rules. They meet biennially um, every two years, and uh, you know, these, these events have been held, the ones I've been to have been Amsterdam, Paris, um, Istanbul, I mean, they're all very iconic cities, you know, iconic areas. And, you know, we're great with South Dakota. We have the Native American background and all that. So that really adds into it. And um, Congress is uh, the, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday um, coming up next week. And we've got a lot of dignitaries coming from all these different countries. You know, there um, there's some very big VIPs that come and, um, you know, they're going to enjoy having their meetings there and doing some extracurricular stuff, too. How about World Archery Championships now? So yep. this is one of the events. Yep, the big event, World Archery Championship, um, starts on the 19th, and we shoot uh, four days of eliminations and qualifications right at our archery center, um, which we haven't said it, but we need to say that not only are they having it there, we are the world's largest archery center, which was um, deemed by World Archery, the Olympic body to archery. So that happens there, and then the 24th, 5th, and 6th, we go into the actual head-to-head -head competition, which is Archery Fest, where we have our Riverboat Day celebrations in Yankton down at Riverside Park. Um, it's all live TV coverage. It's, uh, you know, the big grand finale of everything shooting, you know, Russia against the United States and so on. And we're really excited about that. We've got all sorts of happenings going on and a big festival activities. Yeah, something for the whole entire family to do. Yep. As well as enjoy what's going on. And then Archery World Cup. The Archery World Cup is the 32 best archers in the world. Basically, everybody that won a medal at Tokyo will be there shooting in the four divisions for first, second, and third. And it is their grand prize. It's their individual Olympics of archery. So, and that finishes up on the uh, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Wow. And um, yeah, I mean, we've got everything going on. People that are watching, come to Yankton the 24th, 5th, and 6th. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Fireworks, we've got reenactors we've got everything going on and Larry we only have about 30 seconds left but as the sponsor how are you involved and what are you kind of hoping to do I mean this is the first time that it's here so how do you kind of go through this and navigate your way to know what to do we sponsored other things that uh, National Field Archery has put on so we have some experience there we have quite a few employees who have volunteered their time to help out uh, money always helps and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruce gets it done. It's, uh, I would urge anybody, if they want to see something different, come to Yankton. They're yeah. going to see it. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a time. So and Larry mentioned a huge thing, volunteers. Right, exactly. We so. have hundreds of them, um, and we need hundreds of them. So it's a, it's a big, big part of the whole event, community yeah. involvement. Yeah, so everyone get involved if you can. Well, thank you both so much for joining me here today and telling us all about this. All right, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. If you'd like to know more about the National Field Archery Association or would like to learn more about becoming an archer, you can call the National Field Archery Association Easton Yankton Archery Center by calling 605-260-9279. You can also find more information online at nfaausa.org. And don't forget to join them down at Riverside Park in Yankton on September 24th through the 26th for Archery Fest. The event features fun, food, and plenty of festivities for the entire family.